This video is sponsored by Altium. In this video, we will look at the limitations of ChatGPT. The current knowledge base of ChatGPT ends in 2021. That means it was a strain on the data available till 2021. There are still some limitations with the bot that were acknowledged. Like the previous version of GPT, ChatGPT is still prone to misinformation and biases. It can give incorrect answers to, say, algebraic problems. ChatGPT sometimes writes plausible sounding but incorrect or nonsensical answers. Fixing this issue is challenging, as there currently needs to be a source of truth during reinforcement learning training. Secondly, the model's training is to be more cautious, causing it to decline questions it can answer correctly. And thirdly, supervised training misleads the model because the ideal answer depends on what the model knows rather than what the human demonstrator knows. So ChatGPT is sensitive to tweaks to the input phrasing, are attempting the same prompt multiple times. For example, given one phrasing of the question, the model can claim not to know the answer, but given a slight rephrase, can answer correctly. And further, the model is often excessively verbose and or uses certain phrases, such as restating that it is a language model trained by OpenAI. These issues arise from the biases in the training data. Trainers prefer a longer answer that looks more comprehensive and well-known over optimization issues. Ideally, the model would ask clarifying questions when this user provided an ambiguous query. Instead, our current models usually guess what the user intended. While efforts have been made to make the model refuse inappropriate requests, it will sometimes respond to harmful instructions or exhibit biased behavior. As a moderation API to bar and block certain types of unsafe content birds, the expectation is to have some false negatives and positives for now. The OpenAI is eager to collect user feedback to aid their ongoing work to improve the system. This video is sponsored by Altium, the industry standard and most professional PCB design software on the market. I've used Altium for designing printed circuit boards to build my own custom Arduinos and high-speed on-edge computer vision projects. When I tested other PCB CAD softwares out there, I found that nothing came close to the flexibility, ease of use, and power of Altium Designer. I mean, if you ever worked on PCB design for computer vision applications, you know that transmitting video signals is a very delicate task, with many high-speed signals that you have to consider in terms of electromagnetic noise and crosstalk. Altium helps you to easily manage and route high-speed signals with length tuning to ensure that you receive clear image quality on the other end. What's really great is that we have partnered up with Altium to bring you an exclusive discount for our Augmented Startups community. Sign up with the link down below to get 30% off monthly of the perpetual license of Altium Designer. You can also try out Altium Designer for free for the first 15 days. Just click the link down below to get started. There are some answer apps on the top of the ChatGPT you can connect your ChatGPT. With your WhatsApp, you can go to this link and get the details. It's useful for connecting the ChatGPT with your WhatsApp. ChatGPT Writer is another important application. It uses ChatGPT to generate emails or replies based on your prompt. Another important and beautiful application of ChatGPT is WebChatGPT. WebChatGPT gives you relevant results from the web. And even you can also summarize the YouTube video. So YouTube summary with ChatGPT generates text summaries of any YouTube video. TweetGPT uses ChatGPT to write your tweets or reply to comments. You can also play with these applications. Another is SearchGPT, which displays the ChatGPT response alongside the Google search results. ChatGPT or all search engines. You can now view ChatGPT responses on Google and Bing. You can save all your prompts. That is the ChatGPT history extension you have covered so that it would save all your prompts. Then comes a feature, Remake a Video. This is also another important and beautiful application of ChatGPT. You pick a video you liked and visit this link, and then you get the transcript of the video. Once you get the video transcript, please bring it back to the ChatGPT and tell it to summarize. Read it and make a video on it yourself. And even you search what people are prompting with the Flow ChatGPT. That's all about ChatGPT.